example on mortgage is continued here. Um, a mortgage of 190,000 is required to purchase a house. The mortgage will be repaid with equal monthly payments over 25 years at 8% compounded monthly. This is the example we did in another video. Uh, now here is a variation to the same example. It is referring to the example, so I would like you to go through that video also. Uh, well, this is fairly independent as I have copied uh, the wordings of the example here. Anyway, it is good if you go through that video also. Now, the example here is, suppose the mortgage has an initial term of 5 years. That means the mortgage which we have taken on 190,000 at 8% compounded monthly over a period of 25 years. Suppose that mortgage has an initial term of 5 years. The mortgage is renewed for another 5 year term at 6% compounded monthly. Then calculate the outstanding principal when the mortgage is renewed. That means after 5 years when we renew that previous mortgage which was on 8% compounded monthly. Then at that time what is the outstanding principal? Right? And part B is, what is the new monthly payment, right? So I hope you understand the question. Read it over again, if not, right? Here I will tell you the way to do it. And it is a very important and a good question. Once you un understand the principles behind on the strategy to solve it, you can solve many different types of questions on entities and mortgages, okay? Now, the first part of this Question is, calculate outstanding principal when the mortgage is renewed. That means, uh, you know, we were supposed to make 12 times 25 payments over a period of 25 years at 8% compounded monthly to pay off uh, the house, which was costing 190000 right? Now, after five years, what is the scenario? That is what we are interested in finding. So think about it like that. In five years, you were supposed to make total of 300 payments, right? So, but how many did you really make? So in five years, so we say in five years, uh, installments paid, you can say, or uh, payments made were five into 12, right? So we will say installments or, or payments made, right? Were how many? Were actually uh, 12 times 5, right? So 12 times 5 is 60, right? So 60 installments were paid and for how much amount, right? Do you remember? Well, when we calculated that, the amount was $1,466.45, okay? So I'm carrying forward those values, right? So it was, this was the R value. Every installment was 1466 dollars 45 cents right so 60 installments of dollar 1466 has been paid in the first five years correct so that is what is paid so we say what is a pending payment so we say pending payment is so we were supposed to pay 25 into 12 which is 300 installments right so the pending payment is 300 minus 60 because 60 were paid that means 240 installments, right? So 240 payments, you can say, were pending, right? Payments are remaining, correct? And each payment is of the value R equals to dollar 1466.45. Do you understand? So that much is pending, right? And the interest rate on this would have been at 8%, right? That is 8% compounded monthly, correct? So, so that is what is pending, right? So what we see, what is the present value of that much of payment? So this is what we are trying to figure out now, right? So what we will do is we want to know present value and therefore we will use the present value formula, right? So the present value formula here is, present value is number of payments are, right? It's a amount recurring payments, the regular payments, right? 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of minus n divided by i, correct? And here, the i value is 
i is equals to one uh, eight percent which is over 12 months period so so i is 0 0.08 over 12 and now n is the number of payments which is 240 do you see that and r is the amount 1466.45 so these are the values which will let us know that what is the present value of this pending 240 payments right which could have been made over next 240 payments do you understand so so we'll plug in these values and find the present value correct so this is r so which is right 1466.45 and within brackets 1 minus 1 plus i is 0 0.08 over 12 to the power of minus 240 correct divided by 0 0.08 over 12 so that is the present value the outstanding principle uh, when we are going to renew our mortgage after five years of payments do you see that if you use a calculator and calculate all this you will get an answer which is 175 320.39 okay so that is the outstanding this is your outstanding principle right so this is your outstanding principle in dollars is it okay so that is your outstanding principle that's a part a right so because you didn't make 240 payments and for that the present value is 175,320 dot 49 cents right now this is part a now for part b what do we need to do is now we know this is the present value right and we want to know the new monthly payments right so we'll again use the same formula but now we know pv but we not want to find what r is correct so let me do now write down let's say part b now so for part b what do we do so we'll use the same formula as we used here there but the only thing is that we will use a different interest because now the interest is six percent correct so i is 0 0.06 over 12 right so rather point yeah it's point zero six over 12 is your i so now in part b to find the regular payments so what we will do is let me write it here or let me just push the speed a bit towards you and uh, now so we want to find the regular payments so the principal we are using the same formula correct right so pv the present value is 175 320 correct 0.39 equals to and what we don't know is r right that is what is a new monthly payment that is what we want to calculate right one minus one plus and what is the interest rate the new interest rate is six percent correct so six percent means 0 0.06 over 12 correct? to the power of n and number of installments we will assume that we'll pay for rest of the year i know this has been only renewed for five years but it is assumed that for rest of the time right so we'll go to the power of minus 240 correct because then you'll make all the payments correct divided by this interest rate which is 0 0.06 over 12. now the calculation for this is you have to find r and r will be first you multiply this with this amount and then divide by that as i've shown already in the previous video right now if you calculate this then you come out with a regular payment of 1256.05 right so if you do all this calculation which i'm not doing at present here so when you do all this then from here you get the answer as r equals to 125.56.05 okay thank you